Welcome back to the AD 1926 video series. Last time we left off here in Hackberry, Arizona, we are going to pick it up in Wallapai, Arizona for part 81 on this road. These days it's unnamed, but this was Route 66 for the first decade of its existence. The road is surprisingly smooth, so we're just going to sit back and relax, enjoy this pseudo 1926 experience. The location of Wallapai is inconsistent from map to map, and also somewhere around here, between here and Barrie, was a place called Sombra. Perhaps it was a water stop. It's shown on some maps, but not all. Uh, Sombra means shade in Spanish, so perhaps um, there were trees and things. I, I have really no idea. I've been looking for more information on Sombra. Nevertheless, we're going to continue down Original 66 and pick it up by Barry. This is a very common scene for AD 1926, a train. So often we run parallel to the train. And look at this, tumbleweed. So inspiration for AD 1926 and Desert 66. Next, I'm going to skip ahead a little bit and pick it up a little bit west of Barrie. I don't have any westbound footage, so this is actually eastbound footage played in reverse. So it's as if we're looking out the back window down original Route 66. As one would approach Kingman, there was a place once called Louise. There was Louise Station there for a time. I'm not sure when the station actually existed or if this older map was just showing a water stop or a siding of Louise and a station was built later. I really don't know. Nevertheless, now we're going to go to a place called El Trovatore. 
So that's not Il Trovatore, the famous opera by Verdi, the troubadour, Il Trovatore. We have El Trovatore, or El Trovatore. So we have a mixture of Spanish, Italian, with an American accent. This area is also known as Hilltop, and it was back in the 20s, as you can see, Hilltop Restaurant and Cafe, which was located here along Chadwick Drive. This was Route 66 from 1926 all the way to 1947. So as you can see, this is quite narrow for the 1940s for Route 66. Coming around this curve, you can see the post-1947 Route 66. So we're going to skip ahead to the other side of the road and come to this old bit that I didn't know about until Jim Hinckley showed me one day. And it's clear how this original 66 came into Kingman. Sixty-six then joins the post-1947 version, so this was Route 66 all the way from the beginning to its end. On the left, you'll see the older of three water towers. I'm guessing this photo here was taken from that. So Route 66 goes down a little bit and turns left. Here's another old photo from that same angle. And from street level, you'll see the commercial hotel. There it is, and looking down 66. You see Hotel Beale in the background there. So we're gonna keep driving down and then take another look at this block here. You can see this building on the corner is no longer there. That was torn down years ago. Uh, yeah, so Hotel Beale, Route 66, then turn left on 4th Street here. You see that older building that's no longer there. And before we actually head down 4th Street, let's take a look at these older buildings right here, such as the Beale Hotel. Here's an older photo of that. You can see cafe next to them. Brundages. The Beale Hotel again. And then just to the left of that hotel, this is an old bar, 1906. Now it's called the Sportsman Bar. We'll take a quick look inside. Typical dive bar. But this is cool. They've got bass drum with their name on it. Immediately to the west of the Sportsman Bar is the Hotel Brunswick. Let's take a look inside and see what's happening here. Looks like we have a few ladies perhaps having some afternoon tea. Behind them, they're doing construction, and I've seen construction on here all the way from 2016 to 2023. And here we have another lady, and she's working the switchboard for the phones in the rooms, I'm guessing. Okay, an older photo, Hotel Brunswick. Pretty cool. I'm parked out here. This is what it looks like today. I'm going to zoom in and take a little look at this nice neon sign. Another shot here. Another neon sign. This one for the cafe. And if you'd like to pause the video and read this info, welcome to. Okay, next to the Hotel Brunswick Italian restaurant, and then next to that, the Old Trails Garage. We're going to take a look at some photos of that as well. I took a look at this old car, and who knows, maybe it drove Route 66 in 1926. Let's continue along down 4th, and you'll see across the street is the site of where the old Harvey House was, 1901 to 1932, and then it burned in 1952. 
We'll end the video heading down 4th Street, which was Route 66 from 1926 to 39. For more videos about the places inspiring the music for the Route 66 Suite, become a supporter at patreon.com slash route66suite. Thanks for watching.